Hey y'all, this is Molly K. Hope y'all are well. Got a story for you. It's really important. It's quick. It's gonna be quick, but uh, you need to pay attention to this because this is significant in my opinion. I know most people are gonna be like, oh, it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. It says the Pentagon plans to shake up DC's National Guard. You know what DC is protecting. Um, criticized for its response to protests January the 6th. Now, I find it ironic that they, they want to do this now um, with so much stuff going on in the world, uh, so much stuff going on in the country, and with this acceleration of this NWO agenda. I'm trying to talk in code. So anyway... It says the Pentagon is developing plans to restructure the National Guard in Washington, D.C. in a move to address problems highlighted by the chaotic response to the January 6th riot and safety breaches during the 2020 protest over the murder of George Floyd. The Associated Press has learned. The changes under discussion would transfer the district's Aviation units, which came under sharp criticism during the protest when a helicopter flew dangerously low over a crowd. In exchange, the district would get more military police, which is often the city's most significant need as it grapples with crowd control in large public events. So we're getting ready to start seeing military police on the streets. This is the model. This 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 is what we ought to be concerned about. So they're getting ready to start using the National Guard as military police. So you're going to have your own people turning against you soon. And I know I got my tinfoil hat on right now, but I'm telling you, this, this is going to be, this is how... They're transitioning. It's gradual. It's slow. It's also where a bunch of black people live. Notice that. They notice how they they dragged George Floyd into the chat. People were were um, peacefully protesting, but they need military police. It's not that. It's that they fear black people getting their superpowers. We getting ready to come together and cry. We crying out to the Most High. And they fear that. Um, if you know anything about D.C. and how it was set up and all the occultic, um, satanic practices and symbolism that's there, you know, that's a place that really ain't got no God in it. Um, so it's just, just interesting as they transition and try to force us into this um, new world order. And this climate emergency, what's going on in Maui, it's not an accident. It's not an accident. Even if it's judgment, um, they're going to use it as a reason to accelerate the climate agenda. So, so several current and formal offic former officials familiar with the talks spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss internal deliberations. They say no final decisions have been made. So this is what makes me think they're getting ready to declare a national emergency and they're trying to put people on the streets in preparation for, for them cutting the food because the pilgrims going to cut up. The ones who, who have the rights and this country protects, they're going to cut up. For us, it's just going to be another day because we already don't have no rights. We hostages in a domestic violence situation. A key sticking point is who would be in control of the D.C. Guard, a politically diverse question that gets to the heart of what has been an ongoing turbulent issue. Across the country, governors control the National Guard units and can make decisions on deploying them to local disasters and other needs. But D.C. is not a state. So the president of the United States is in charge, but gives that authority to the defense secretary who generally delegates it to the army secretary. So according to officials, 
Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is weighing two options, maintain the current system or handing control to the U.S. Northern Command, which is in charge of Homeland Defense. So you following me. Senior officials have argued in favor of Northern Command, which would take control out of the hands of political appointees in Washington who may be at odds with DC government and giving it to nonpartisan military commanders who already oversee homeland defense, which still gives the president power over these people. Others, however, believe that decision making should remain at the Pentagon, mirroring the civilian control that governors have on their troops. The overall goal, officials said, is to decrease the size of the district's guard, but reform it is not, I'm sorry, is not to decrease the size of the district's guard, but to reform it and ensure it has the units, equipment, and training to do the missions it routinely faces. The proposal to shift aviation forces is largely, largely an Army decision. It would move the D.C. Air Guard Wing and its aircraft to Maryland Guard and the Army Aviation Unit with its helicopters to the Virginia Guard. An Army official added that a review of the D.C. Guard examined its ability to provide rapid response, mission command, and coordination with other forces when needed over the past four years. The review, which led to the recommendations, involved the, the District Guard and Army leaders. D.C. Uh, Mayor Muriel Bowser's office did not respond to a request for comment on the proposed changes, but Bowser and other local officials have long claimed that the mayor's office should have sole authority to deploy the local guard, arguing that the D.C. mayor has the responsibilities of any governor without, any, without the extra authorities or tools. When faced with a potential security event, the mayor of D.C. has to go to the Pentagon usually the army secretary to request national guard assistance that was true during the violent protest in the city over the killing of george floyd at the hands of the police in 2020 and later an angry mob stormed the capitol on 2021 in an effort to overturn the election of pow pow as the january 6th riot was unfolding city leaders were making frantic calls to army leaders asking them to send guard troops to the capital where, where police and security were being overrun city leaders complained heatedly about delays in response as the pentagon considered bowser's national guard request city police ended up reinforcing the capital police army leaders in response said the district was demanding help but not providing the details and information necessary to determine what forces were needed and how they would be used it's just a bunch of bs army officials were concerned about taking the guard troops who were arrayed around the city during um city doing traffic duty and sending them into a riot because they were not prepared and didn't have appropriate gear and they have criticized the city for repeatedly insisting it would not help security and it would not need security help when asked by federal authorities in the days leading up to January. The swirling confusion word, congressional hearings and accusations that political considerations influenced the Trump administration's responses or response to the unrest in the Democratic majority city. Defense officials rejected those charges and blamed the city. Within the Pentagon, however, there are broader concerns that is that D.C. is too quick to seek National Guard troops to augment law enforcement shortfalls in the city that should be handled by police. In recent days, a city council member suggested that the D.C. Guard might be needed to help battle spiking local crime. So how they are um, with this last sentence they are wanting to militarize police and so that is what we are going to be dealing with we're going to be dealing with people who live in your local area who are going to be trained probably over there in israel to treat you as if you were in war because that's what they're getting ready to see us as they're 
they're getting ready to treat us as if we are living in a war zone. They're getting ready to treat us like we are criminals. Citizens are going to be treated like criminal criminals when you oppose what's coming. So they they have to prepare that. So they have to sell this train of thought that um, black people uprising because they killing us is a problem, and then people protesting. Um, the hillbilly insurrectionists, when they protest, you need to do something about them too. But they, you see how they drag us into it. We didn't have nothing to do with um, going into the Capitol building, but they dragged us into it. <clears throat> the restructuring is an effort to smooth out the process and avoid communications problems if another crisis erupts. This is real. That was really significant to me too. They talked about communications problems because you know they gave out those radios to Congress earlier this year. Um, they keep talking about a grid going down and us not having internet, phone, or the electricity, so on and so forth. So I really feel like they're prepping for a September surprise um, or this um, whatever is coming. I don't know what it is. I don't know when it is. We always have. It's time for a September surprise. Um, if we don't have one this year, maybe it's next year. But I just feel like it's going to be this year. And um, I just feel like they are prepping for what could be coming. An Army investigation in 2021 sharply criticized the D.C. Guard, saying troops lacked clear guidance and didn't fully understand how to use helicopters appropriately during the civil unrest in 2020. Oh, they knew how to do it. They were practicing on us. That's what they were doing. So you got to pay attention to the DMV area. They do a lot of shady military stuff, um, especially in the Baltimore area and, and a lot of black, poor black communities. This is just over over time, they've um, employed those, um, uh, what do they call it? When they um, use those planes over the highways to uh, police speed, um, they've also done the chemtrails over that area. Like there's been a lot of, lot of experimenting on black people in the DMV. Uh, so they know what they're doing. They know they do things to us, and they see uh, if we're gonna complain about it, if we notice it. And most times, you know, it flies under the radar because they do it to poor people who don't. You know, they're accustomed to being policed. So they talk about it amongst themselves, but they don't really tell the rest of the world. And even if they did, because it's us, nobody would really care because, hey, nobody cares about what happens to black people. The probe was triggered by widespread objections, including from Congress, after one of the D.C. Guard helicopters hovered low over protesters near the Capitol One Arena to create a deafening noise and spray protesters with rotor wash. There was also concern that the guard was guard used a medevac helicopter with medical markings to make such a show of force against the crowd gathered to protest Floyd's death. I remember that. The report found that use of the medical helicopters was appropriate because it was an emergency, but the episode raised worries among defense leaders about the need for improved planning, training, and oversight of the D.C. Guard's use of aviation and calls for a stricter approval process. So anyway, things are getting ready to change with the National Guard. It's, it says it's just for D.C., um, which is interesting, but also interesting that they want to put military police in the city, in the district. So, you know, pay attention to the story. I don't think, you know, after after three years, they, they could have done this a long time ago. They could have done this after Papa took office, but why now? They did these, um, these um, reviews, I want to say back in 2021, 2020, 2021. Uh, I'm trying to see when did they say in an article. Mm, 
So it says the army investigated in 2021. So from 2021, it's 23. They didn't they didn't think to do that until now. Here it is, August 2023. Right before September, right before the economy gets ready to crash, right before BRICS is getting ready to do whatever they're gonna do, right as they amp up uh World War Three that we're not supposed to be in, but we are already in the thick of it. As they, you know, do these coups in all these black nations all over the globe, now all of a sudden they need to do this. I'm not buying it, but anyway, it's a data point. Don't have fear. Be armed with knowledge so you know what's under, you know, you know what's going on. Also pay attention to what's going on in your city. If you live in a major city, if you live close to a military base, if you live close to where there is, uh, um, some type of uh, national command for the military, Air Force, Army. Just be aware. And if you live in a place where there's a lot of racial unrest or you just got hillbilly insurrectionists, always be ready to be about that life. Pay attention because... Um, there could be some energy changing in your state and your state could be changing how it uses its national guard and it could be signifying that something big is getting ready to happen and they're getting ready to lock us down so um you know if, if they declare this climate emergency or they decide to do a lockdown because of the war there's some type of um next generation warfare happening that we don't know about and we're locked down this is why this could be happening so in any event be aware of what's going on at all times do not stop paying attention keep watch keep prepping keep praying all right this is marley k love y'all and i'm out